Choosing the best Linux distro comes down to matching your needs. Ubuntu delivers rock-solid stability via its long-term support, LTS releases, and a huge hardware-certified ecosystem. Fedora gives developers bleeding-edge software and default Linux protection. Linux Mint offers a Windows-style layout without snaps, all built on Ubuntu LTS foundations. Garuda Linux, Arch-based and gaming-focused, ships with BTRF snapshots and AUR access for maximum customization. And OpenSUSE, available as Stable Leap or Rolling Tumbleweed, features YAST for GUI-based administration and flexible update choices. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the everyday distro that nearly everyone recognizes. LTS support. Every two years, Ubuntu issues an LTS release with five years of security maintenance, extendable to 10 years with Ubuntu Pro. Hardware compatibility. Canonical's certification program ensures that thousands of PCs and laptops just work out of the box. Software availability. You can tap into PPAs, Snaps, and the Ubuntu Software Center for virtually any application. Security. AppArmor runs by default to confine applications and enforce mandatory access controls. Drawbacks Snap overhead Snap packages can be slower to start and consume more disk space compared to DEBs or flat packs. Resource usage Ubuntu's GNOME desktop and background services can feel heavy on older hardware. Ideal for Newcomers who want an OS that just works, users needing long-term stability without frequent upgrades. Fedora Fedora is the innovation lab for Red Hat, balancing up-to-date software with rock-solid security. Cutting-edge releases, new versions every six months, each supported for about 13 months. Developer-friendly, Fedora workstation ships with toolchains, SDKs, GNOME boxes for VMs, and toolbacks for containerized development. Security first, Selenix is enforced by default, giving you mandatory access controls out of the box. Drawbacks, frequent upgrades, you'll need to upgrade at least once a year to stay supported. Proprietary codecs, streaming Netflix or playing MP3s requires enabling RPM Fusion or other repos. Ideal for software developers and DevOps practitioners, open source enthusiasts who want the latest kernels, desktops, and languages Linux Mint. Linux Mint smooths the transition from Windows with a traditional desktop paradigm. Ubuntu Base. Built on Ubuntu LTS, it inherits stability and compatibility. Site Turn Zero Search 5. Flatpak over Snap. Outfitted with Flatpaks instead of Snaps, avoiding many of the performance complaints. Media Ready. Proprietary codecs and drivers are installed by default, so you can play DVDs, MP3s, and connect to Wi-Fi without additional tinkering. Drawbacks. Windows? Like look. Some may find the Taskbar Plus menu feel outdated. Delayed updates follows Ubuntu LTS pace, so you won't get brand new versions of apps immediately. Ideal for Windows refugees looking for a familiar UI. Non-technical users who want a set-and-forget experience. Garuda Linux. Garuda is a relatively new Arch-based distro optimized for speed, visuals, and gaming. Rolling release and AUR. Automatic updates plus access to thousands of AUR packages via chaotic AUR. BTRF Snapshots uses BTRFs by default to take automatic system snapshots, allowing easy rollbacks if an update breaks something. KDE Dr. 4609ized, a neon-infused macOS-inspired KDE experience, with other desktops available too. Performance tweaks, pre-configured kernel optimizations, gaming tools, and a custom settings manager. Drawbacks, high requirements, needs at least 4 gigabytes, RAM and 30 gigabytes disk space to shine. Update frequency, weekly updates are recommended, which can be daunting if you're new to Linux. Ideal for, gamers seeking optimized performance, power users who love customizing every detail. OpenSUSE, OpenSUSE gives you the choice. Tumbleweed is a true rolling release with thoroughly tested snapshots. Leap is a point release model, updated every 18 months, Ideal for servers and desktops alike. Key feature, YAST, a comprehensive graphical tool for installation, package management, network setup, and more drawbacks. YAST complexity. Its depth can be overwhelming if you just want a simple settings panel. Smaller official repos. You may need flat packs or app images for certain niche apps. Ideal for 
system administrators craving GUI-based control, home servers and explorers wanting to switch DEs without reinstalling. Conclusion and next steps. No single Linux distro is best for everyone. Match your priorities, stability versus cutting edge, graphical tools versus terminal power, update frequency versus LTS support, and pick the distro that aligns. Try in VirtualBox or boot live USB to experience each environment firsthand. Check system requirements against your hardware. Join the community. Each distro has vibrant forums and wikis to help you get unstuck. Happy exploring, and may you find the Linux distro that feels like it was made just for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. And don't forget, I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.